visiting the catacombs today. Um, this is a quick story about this that I'm going to share with you guys as soon as I walk down these crazy steps. What do you think about when you think of Paris? You think about the Eiffel Tower, you think of macaroons, you think about romance. The most interesting thing is that when I was in Paris, under my feet, when I was walking, there are tunnels underground designed for this one reason. To house six million people's bones. Obviously to satisfy my curiosity for why this is, why they built this, and why there's so many people's bones <laughs> underground, I decided to go 600 feet underground to the base of where all of this began. Oh, I'm currently dizzy right now. Only then to walk more tunnels until I finally hit the part I was looking for. So I think the story is that there were too many people dying in Paris and they needed space to put all these dead bodies, so they decided to put them underground. All right, past tense Herschel, like that's kind of true, but the tunnels were actually built back in 1738. They weren't actually used until 1786, until Paris finally acknowledged that they had a problem with overflowing cemeteries. I'm standing behind a cemetery. There's a reason why I chose this location, which is there's a cemetery behind me and I wanted to get into the perspective of how it must have felt for these families back in the 1700s of not knowing where their family members were gonna go. All right, enough of that history lesson. Let's talk more about these tunnels. All right, so after you walk down all those stairs and you start walking down these tunnels, the misconception here is that as soon as you start walking down these tunnels, you think you've actually made it to the catacombs, but you quickly realize you're wrong when you see your tunnels going from this to literally walls filled with just bones of skulls and femurs. The first thing you notice when you see these catacombs is how well organized these bones are, these skulls are. You shape them as a heart. I think another interesting thing is that when you're walking down these uh, tunnels filled with other people's bones, it's almost impersonal in some degree of you don't acknowledge that those bones used to be a human being before, um, which is an interesting thing because when you're walking, you just it's a very black and white type of feeling. You just don't have any attachment to it, which is a very interesting mindset that I had when I was walking down these tunnels. But the more interesting thing is that these tunnels actually have bones of really famous people. Charles Perrow, who wrote Cinderella and Puss in the Boots, was buried in the catacombs. And Salman Date Rosa, who was the architect behind the Luxembourg Palace, was buried in the catacombs. Which I found really cool because they didn't give preference to people who were more accomplished. They just put all these bones together and made walls out of them to solve the overflowing cemetery problem in Paris. And even though I was chasing my curiosity 600 feet underground, I just couldn't get over the fact, the contrast of what you see above the ground, what you see underground. That's just crazy. Well, I'll see you on Thursday.